guys, how's, how's it going? Uh, we're back in Haiti again. It is uh, January and we are so excited to be here. Thanks for uh, subscribing and watching these videos. And I just want to give you guys a little update about the farm and how well we're doing. We are Nick and Nikki Stolberg, founders of New Roots Haiti. We are committed to ending generational poverty in Chiwon, Haiti through education, nutrition assistance, and job creation. We operate a 14-acre economic development farm that includes raising chickens on pasture, a butcher shop, and a feed mill. New Roots also has a community center where we work with over 250 youth to help them advance academically, spiritually, and emotionally. These are the stories of the impact we are creating every day in Haiti. So right behind me where I just came out of, uh, this is the corn that we planted back on September 29th. Today is 118 days old. Uh, as you can see, it's looking pretty good. There's a few smaller ones in there. Uh, starting tomorrow, we're gonna begin harvesting this corn. Uh, we're hoping for a, a really great yield because we've got tons of chickens and they need to be fed. Um, it's, it's super cool, it's grown really well. We had good rain, um, every, everything about it's great. We had, this land got no uh, additional fertilizer other than chickens being on it for the past couple years. So it grew great. There's so much going on in Haiti right now. Uh, we're in the middle of a water treatment center project. We're gonna shoot over that and get you guys an update on that. That's about a week and a half away from opening. It got delayed a little bit because we're short on some parts. Um, we've got the tractor going. We've got cultivation services starting up again. Um, we're able to get diesel. Got patient is just cranking along. There's a jazz festival that was here last week. Tons of people came out for it. Um, it's just a, it's a great time to be in Cap Haitian right now. The weather's great. It's been about mid 60s in the morning, which is a little cold for me, but we'll we'll make it. One of the things you guys might know, not know about is a few weeks ago, the United States State Department opened up a program for immigrants in several different countries, one of them being Haitians. And so there's a program now and in Haiti they call it Program Joe Biden, Program Biden. And, uh, and so it allows Americans in the States to sponsor Haitians that already have a passport and come to the United States without a visa. Now that host family is responsible for all the expenses associated with that. They don't get any money from the government or the State Department. They're responsible for sponsoring and caring for the person that they bring out of the state, out of, out of Haiti. Um, there's been a lot of people talking about it, a lot of people going. There's been a huge rush on the immigration office down in Port-au-Prince. All of this has kind of partially led to Haiti being maybe a little bit more stable uh, for the past few weeks. Um, how do I feel about the program? Uh, it's a little mixed. Uh, I think a lot of the people that have passports that could be eligible to go to the States are some of the people that we need in Haiti. These are maybe some of the more educated people, maybe some of the leaders or entrepreneurs. And these are the people that we need to stay in Haiti to help get the country back on its feet again. Now, when they all leave, it just uh, adds to what we call the brain drain and all of these people that could be good citizens are leaving. On the other hand, I completely understand would never fault anybody for wanting to be a part of such an amazing program. I mean, getting to go to the United States and learn English and learn and work is a tremendous opportunity. And, uh, and so anybody that would want to go, I, I would completely understand that. Welcome to the inside now of the Future Water Treatment Center. So uh, we got the tile done this week, uh, we've got the electricity in, we got the Wi-Fi in, everything's just about ready to go, and now we need to install all the plumbing stuff. So we've ordered a lot of stuff, shipped in a lot of stuff, uh, all of the plumbing on the walls is going to be done with PEX, and so I'm always sure a few little fittings. So in a couple weeks, or maybe like a week and a half, we'll get the rest of everything I've ordered in, and then we'll be able to completely finish it. But just a quick little preview, the water comes in right here, it's going to come into a free filter, uh, right there, and then to come out of that free filter through a meter, through an electric valve, into the first osmosis unit, and then we'll come out of that into a tank. The reject water will go up onto the top and do another thing. It'll then come out of this tank through this pump, through this UV bank, through this meter, into people's water jugs. So as you can see, we've got a lot of work left to do, uh, but we can ask this thing will be all finished and people begin water right here. So super excited about it. All right, let's go. Another great thing that's happening in the Cap Haitian and in Haiti right now is that schools are finally open back up. Uh, so all the kids right now are back at school. They're doing an extra long school day uh, because they still somehow think they can get in a full year of school this year. Um, all the kids in our programs are testing, um, com composing is what they call it in Haiti, uh, in the next week or two. 
in about, in about two weeks. And so there's just cramming going on right now. All the students in this area are working super hard. So even like in our community programs, we've seen some of the attendance drop because these kids are at home studying, which is fantastic. And so now we're looking on how we can adjust our programming to help these kids get that studying done. Um, anyways, it's great being here. We're gonna show you guys a little montage, some drone shots, some great stuff going on around here. We're super excited to be back. Nikki's gonna do the next update in a week or two and talk more about the community center, and then I'll be back right after that. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you hit the bell on the bottom so you guys get notified when we drop these new videos. There's gonna be some great content coming. We're super excited about it. Stay tuned.